bam 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 para pa dum bam 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 para pa dum I lock got up to a lemonade stand and he said to the man running the stand Hey bam 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 got any grapes Hello Hi guys I hope you um liked my intro so yeah and happy St. Patrick's Day make sure you're wearing green or I'll pinch you like this. Okay, sorry about that. So since it's St. Patrick's Day, I thought, I want to make something. I knew I made something yesterday, but today I thought the greatest thing to make. A St. Patrick's Day cat. Uh, I mean, what cuter than that? This is, it's going to be so adorable. So let's get started. What you'll need is a pencil. Whoops. Sorry, a pencil. Paper. And for coloring, crayons or markers, your choice. Let's get started. So first, what I want to do is I'm going to draw the basic cat body. And then we're going to who, like work around it. So actually, let's start with the hat. So first, you're going to do... A not full rectangle like that, and then a sideways one, just like that. Now onto the buckle. We're going to make this a leprechaun hat. So first you draw the buckle, you do a square like that, and then a square in the inside. Then you add the things to hold it in this hat. And there you go, your basic leprechaun. Now let's go on to the cat. The cat. So I'm gonna make a cat head. So it's like that, and then connect it. Don't draw too hard because we're going to be erasing to add all the extra stuff. So now, now let's make the ears. So maybe we're gonna make the ears popping out. Hmm, 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 I do not know what to do. Let's see. As you can see, I drew a tiny ear out onto the side, and it looks pretty okay, so I'm going to do that. So it looks like it's going through the ear, so cat ear right there. So how they do is that you make a triangle, and a small triangle on the inside, just like that. Hmm, hmm, and then you... If you want to, you can fix this up a bit, so. Dang! I guess that looks okay. So, before we move on to the face stuff, let's just do the basic body. Because it's going to be holding a four-leaf clover in its mouth. So, for the basic body, hmm. Um, uh, so, you're just going to make a little rectangle like that. Just like that. And we're going to be making the cat sit down. So we're going to have, we're going to make a circle like that and draw little claws like that. Here. You know, I have, I'm going to make this to match for where the legs are going. There you go. Much better. Just like that. Okay, now for the other leg. You're just going to do another one of this and some of that for the feet. We're going to erase right there so it looks like it has its leg out. Now let's go for the hands. For the finger, you're going to start from maybe about right here in the bottom-ish and go all the way down and back up. Make a little mark for the hands. Claws and do another one right beside it. Just like that. Now our cat looks like it's sitting down. Isn't that cute? I decided to make the arms just a little bit longer so I extended them a bit. So I'm, hmm, I think I'm going to move on to the tail now. So for the tail, maybe start about right here to your cat and go up like a snake. Like that, and then down like that, and we're going to make a little swirling net. Then start from the top, go.
go around like that. Whoa, that's a bad tail. Hang on. I'm going to fix that. There we go. Much better. So, yeah. And if you want, you can make it a striped cat. Anyway, on to the face. So, remember how I said about drawing lightly? We're going to need that because we're going to race right here to make the four leaf clover. But first, let's do the eyes. So for the eyes, I'm going to do one big circle right there. And one big circle right there for the big, beautiful eyes. Then you're going to put... I always make mine look a little bit cross-eyed, so... Yeah, it's going to take some time. But... Oh, that does not look good. Hang on. Oh my god, that looks awful. But anyway, we're just going to use it because this is the best I could. Now time to fill in the eyes. <laughs> okay, there, the eyes are done. If you... There. The eyes are done. Now let's make the mouth, so... <laughs> I'm going to start by doing the four leaf clover and making the mouth around you because that just seems easiest for me. So for the four leaf clover, you're going to do like a butterfly shape. See, remember what I said about that? So that's where about you know, so that's how you know where your four leaf clover was so you knew where you needed to erase it. So. You do a butterfly again, and then you do the little stem part of the four-leaf clover, and now for the mouth. So, for the mouth, first we're going to make the nose, and then the mouth. So, like that. So it looks like it's holding it in its mouth, right? And if you want, um, yeah. Now we're going to make some decoration inside the four leaf clover, like that. Just add a little one inside of it. And there we go. That's the end of our um, kitty holding a four leaf clover. Now it's time for coloring, my favorite part. I decided that I'm going to color the cat brown, so. And there we go, our brown kitty. So now let's color in the green clover part of the kitty. So I decided to use this very pretty green. I'm not going to skip this part since it's really short. I only skip that part because then you're going to have to watch me color in all this stuff. And that's not going to be fun. There you go, the green clover. Of course, you could color your cat any color you want. I just wanted to do it brown because, I don't know, that's how I like it. I feel like I use a lot of pink in my videos. For the tongue, the ice cream scoop of my first video of drawing. So, yeah. Anyway, you're going to want to color this brown. I'm going to, sorry, pink. And I'm going to maybe do that so you can see it better. So, there's the tongue. Guys, I have to tell you something. I have no black. Oh, wait. There it is. Never mind. Okay. Now let's color in the hat. <laughs> and we're done with the hat. So, now for the buckle thingy that goes on the hat. For the buckle, I decided to use Banana Mania. Bum, bum, bum. So, anyway, let's... Wow, that was boring. Wait a second, I forgot to color that little piece in the thing. Black. Excuse me. Okay, there he is. I'm sorry, I cannot talk today. There it is. So, now I'm going to do this thing. I don't know what color it usually is, so I'm just going to use red. It is a very pretty color going with this yellow. And there we go. There is my um, St. Patrick's Day cat. 
And as you can see, I am wearing green. No one can pinch me. Oh, look, she's wearing green also for her clover. If she let go of it, it's bad luck for her. Bye! Quack, 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 quack. Oh, hey guys, in the middle of her video, like when she was drawing the face or something, something came up right here. Was it me, the stick box animal, or this car? Comment down below which of them were in the video. Bye-bye for now.